Oh, what it do? What's up? Can I? Hey, 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 hey. What's Papa Lockin' fam? It's your girl Crystal, aka Curly Chris, up in this thing, okay? And y'all, sis, do you see that? Do you see that? All that flakiness. Y'all. This is from that braid out with a custard that I did. Remember when I was telling y'all that I saw that it did have a little flakes on like my skin and stuff? There were some white flakes. Y'all know we don't, listen, we don't get down with the white flakes like that, okay? And I was like, ooh, it's a little flaky here and there, but it didn't actually have flakes in my hair, so I kind of ignored it. Y'all, baby girl, the very next day, okay, that hair said, huh? You thought you saw flakes? No, no, no. You did see flakes, okay? Baby, the flakes came out. You hear me? The flakes uh, pop. Here I am. Oh, hello, man. I thought I had a good braid out. And baby, that thing said, no, ma'am. Trash. That custard did not work for no braid out. So, if, if, it, if it works for your wash and goes, then keep on using it for your wash and goes. Anyway, if you are new to the Color Chris family, welcome. I'm going for you to do one thing and one thing only. Make sure you smash that button down below for your girl, okay? Smash that button down below, okay? It is time to join the family. Let me know that you are here. Turn on those notifications as well. I appreciate you. Okay, now let's get into today's video. So in today's video, y'all, I am washing this mess out, but I'm not going to show y'all that part. We're going to do a wash and go in the shower. Yes, a wash and go in the shower because I did my wash and go in the shower with that Eco, I think, and I really did like it. Um, and that's kind of like the last wash and go I did because y'all know I will not do wash and goes like that. So, wash and go in the shower, and what I'm going to be using is I ordered these, um, the Curls Ultimate Styling Collection Curl Defining Gels. I ordered this one. This one is the medium hold. So this is the one that I got. And I also got the soft hold. I don't know why I got medium and soft hold. Like, I don't know why I didn't get the hard, the firm hold. But anyway, this one says it's for a braid slash twist out. So I'm going to use it for a wash and go because on the back it says it works great for wash and go styles also. So I'm going to see how it looks and what kind of hold it gives me. It says that it will not flake at all. Used on freshly cleansed and conditioned hair. Um, so I'm going to use this today for a wash and go. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. And then since it's, it kind of looks like it's a cream gel a little bit, I'm going to use my Not Your Mother's Curl Defining Detangler. I'm going to use this one. Um, just because, y'all see my pinky? <laughs> Ignore her. Judge your wig, not me. Um, I'm going to use this because... I feel like it's lightweight and that's kind of what I need is a lightweight right now. Like I don't want anything that's too heavy because it's like a cream gel. So I wanted something that was lightweight. I hope that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to use. As far as the oil, I may follow up with like the Kinky Trusses oil. I may follow up with this one. I'm not really sure. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be using today. So let's go ahead and hop right into the shower. Oh, wait, before I do that, it smells like, I don't know, I don't really have a smell that much. Um, I'm going to show y'all what the texture of it is. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, I don't know, y'all. Baby, this kind of, this kind of lightweight. That's kind of lightweight, y'all. I don't know. We going to see. We going to see because I, I don't know about that. I actually got that green one because that green one was the stronghold. That's what I need with that green one. But... We're gonna see. So let's hop in the shower. My sis, my sis, my sis, you know it's first. Okay, after I went ahead and washed my hair, I'm gonna go in with my leave in conditioner. Y'all, I'm so happy I chose to use this leave in. It's so lightweight, and just look at how moisturized my curls are about to look. Like, I'm so happy I used this leave in. Like, I don't know how the results gonna turn out, but I know the leave-in was popping. Y'all, look at how juicy my curls were. Like, watch it, watch it, watch Ow, girl, talk to me, okay? Yes. Yeah, so now let's hope for the best because, sis, I did not know what to expect. Y'all know I'm not a wash and go person, but last time I did it in the shower, I loved it. And honestly, I feel like the whole point I'm going to explain to y'all why I chose to do it in the shower. So, I chose in the shower because I have access to that warm water that I already need. 
And instead of me like having to refill up my water bottle or whatever, I just can rely on the warm water right there. And then boom, re-moisturize, add more water where needed. Um, so I put the product on the whole section and then I went into the smaller sections and applied it on the roots, focused that on the root and then drug it on down to the rest of my hair. And y'all look at how popping. Do y'all see? Oh my, I am shook. Y'all know I don't do this wash and go thing. And my curls were popping. And y'all, look at just how defined they were and just how moisturized they were looking. Like, I did not apply a, uh, oil to it or anything afterwards. I just used the gel only. And I shingled because I really didn't want any of my curls to like, like I wanted to come together, but I didn't want them to like be in large sections, large chunks. I wanted them to be individually defined. So that's why I shingled instead of just like, you know keeping it all in one but y'all look at that look at that i was shook sis okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this next section um apply i'm gonna split that into a little smaller section and then apply the product to that as well y'all i'm telling y'all if you have not tried a wash and go in the shower i highly suggest you try it if you are like me and you feel like your wash and goes just always suck something is just off about it, okay like try it in the shower because I feel like the hair is able to accept the product more as well because it's in that warm environment, especially if you are low porosity. Like y'all, look at my curls. I can assure you my hair would not have been this way if I did not do it in the shower. Like if I would have been outside in front of my camera, I promise you my hair would not have performed this well. It's something about being in the shower with that steam and just reapplying that water where necessary. I'm telling you sis, that did a world of, it changed so much for me for the better. Um, so I also love that I shingled as well, like I said earlier. Also, I want to mention, I want to like go more in depth on why I chose to do it in the shower. Um, I feel like the shower is a, yo, wait, part of that. Look at this! Sis, what? Like, who am I? Okay, anyway, let me focus. So, what I just wanted to say was, I feel like with it, with being in the shower, I am low porosity, um, and I have a lot of hair on my head. So, with me, me being low porosity, warm water is key for my hair throughout the entire styling process. Half the time, I don't have to re-moisturize my hair, but I know that with a wash and go, I want to apply the product when my hair is soaking wet. Like, more soaking wet than whenever I do a twist out. And I'm, I'm still trying to, like, work on wash and goes. I'm not going to say perfect it because I really am not the wash and go chick, but I really, like, if I'm spending my time on it, I want it to look right, right? So... I feel like I always get the best results whenever I do this in the shower. Look at my little happy dance. Okay, y'all, I'm telling y'all, my hair was looking good. And I had to also show y'all the front part of my hair because y'all know the front part of my hair act like she ain't got no home training. Sis. She act like she is just a teenager trying to sneak out, okay? And the mom already told them no. But with this gel, did y'all see it in my hair just now? Like... The definition was so popping, so cute. I loved it. So once again, I applied it to the whole section and then I split it in half and then applied some more to that section because I really want to make sure that my hair is fully coated with the product. I don't want to go overboard, but I do want to make sure that it's fully coated. And just look at the shine on it, y'all. Like, it was so shiny. So, I <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and watch this um, part when I finish the top part as well. And then we'll be back and we're going to look at how my whole head looks. So stay tuned. As y'all can see, I did not know how to act. Y'all, the front of my hair actually cooperated. And as y'all saw in the front, I kind of did curl the hair around my end because I wanted to emphasize that curl for the front of my hair because once again, she don't act right. But y'all, look at these results so far. I was cutting up, sis. Like, look at that. Oh, woo. 
what y'all think these results gonna look like? Let's let's keep watching, cause look, look, look. All right, fam. So I finished um, my letting my hair dry. It is completely dry all the way. The definition is so cute, y'all. Like, look at it. It is so cute. It is very defined. Like the front of my hair, of course, is not as defined as the rest because when is it ever? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this wash and go. You guys saw, have seen how I stretched my wash and goes in the past because I have stretched it um, when I did my last wash and go. I stretched it, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that very, very quickly. Also, this is how much of the gel I ended up using. I ended up using, I'm not sure if you can see, uh, there it goes. I ended up using about half of the bottle. So I'll probably only be able to get two holes out of this. Also, here you guys can like see what's all in it and everything. Hold on, let it focus. In case you're an ingredients person, there you go. Pause it and look, okay? Um, so I can only get about one other use out of this, which I mean, it was only $5 when I purchased it, so that's not bad at all. Like I'll probably buy it again, but I also want to buy the firm hold one because this is just a medium hold gel, y'all, and it got my hair defined. Like, and it it's not even hard or anything. It has a bit of it has a hold to it, but it's not hard. And y'all know the reason why I don't do wash and goes is because it gets hard, and I hate that. So, most definitely want to pick up that green one, and I will be using this one again for sure. I enjoyed it, and because I didn't have to use um a thick leave-in or anything. I use a lightweight leave-in, which I feel like really benefited this style. So I highly suggest using the lightweight leave-in with that styler. Um, and I did not use the oil either. But of course you guys know I'm going to go in with an oil whenever I'm about to stretch because frizz, okay? So I'm gonna use the Kinky Tresses oil. Um, just a little bit of this. And the way that I stretch my hair, y'all, is with my blow dryer. So I just have a, I'm going to have to back up some because my blow dryer, the cord on it is not that long. But this is just what I use. My typical generic blow dryer from Sally's, y'all. I don't. It's a Revlon one. I don't have no fancy blow dryer, nothing like that. Um, so what I do is part my hair into sections and then I blow dry each section out. So I can stretch my twist out, well, stretch my wash and go. So y'all see how the length of where it is now. And then all we're gonna do is pull on this part, take the blow dryer. I'm gonna put it on high and warm heat. Not, not hot, hot, just warm. So of course you are pulling on the hair as you're blow drying it so it can stretch. I only blow dry for about 30 seconds and this is how much it stretched from previous. So I'm gonna just do it a little bit more. And the warm setting was kinda too hot but I think I'm gonna just have to deal with it because I feel like warm heat blow dries better than just cold, so yeah. A few moments later. Look at that, y'all. Hashtag length, sis. Y'all know before it was up here. Look at that. I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison of where it was before versus now. So y'all can see the difference in the length. And that was just like a minute of blow drying. Okay, so I'm going to go do the other side. Fluffing everything. If I, I probably ain't going to fluff because I don't really need to. Um, and we're going to look at the final results. Fam, fam, fam. All right, so I went ahead and blow dried the rest and then fluffed a tad bit, not too much, but y'all, I'm feeling this. I am feeling this, okay? Y'all gonna mess around and make me see every single time as of lately since I've been doing wash and goes. Like this is like my second one I think that I actually like. So I think it's the stretching part that I have to implement every time. Cause without that stretching part, sis, I hate it, okay? So, 
I like this. I think it's real, real cute. It has definition. I don't know how long this will last, but I do like it. So what do y'all think? Like, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to also put a side-by-side -side of what my hair looked like before I did all the stretching and everything versus now. I think there is a huge difference in everything, okay? Length, volume, definition, I don't know. And that's kind of the end of today's video, so let me know what y'all think. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Check this out, okay? Okay. <laughs>